Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this pig, which is part of my barnyard series. It's fairly easy. The main parts are two circles for the head and body and two small hearts for the ears. You could use buttons or bobble eyes instead of crocheting the eyes if you'd prefer. Remember to leave a comment in the section below to be in the running to be one of our three winners of our 5,000 subscriber competition. Each winner will be able to choose three of my appliques as long as they're available. The winners will be drawn at 4pm Brisbane time on the 16th of October using Chew Buddy Pick a Winner. Good luck in the competition. Now I'll be using 8-ply wool today which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got two pinks for the pig, white for the eyes and black for the trotters. I've got a sewing needle and sewing thread to stitch it together. I've got a darning needle to weave in my ends. I've got scissors and I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook. Now I'm starting on the pig's head so with my main colour I'm going to make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook onto my yarn, I bring the short end over the top of the hook and then take my long end over the short end to make a circle and then with my hook I put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook and yarn through the circle and I've got a loop there and then I start with two chain now I'll be using US terms I do for all my videos and I'm going to be working 15 double crochet into the circle a double crochet is called a treble in the UK so for a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook I put my hook in through the circle from the front and yarn around the hook and then bring through a loop into the circle then I put my yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn through two loops and I've got two loops left and then yarn around my hook and the hook and the yarn on my hook through the next two loops and that's my first double crochet so yarn around the hook hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop yarn around the hook and take it through two loops yarn around the hook and take it through two more loops. So we need 15 double crochet, I need 13 more. Now I have my 15 double crochet into the, the circle so I take hold of the tail and I pull on it and ease the circle in 
Now I'm going to join my circle with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, so I put my hook into that stitch there, put my yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through the stitch and through the loop on my hook and that's a slip stitch. And my first row is complete. For row two I start with two chain and I work one double crochet in the same place as the chain. So in this stitch here and now I'm going to work two double crochet into each stitch around. Two double crochet into this stitch. And I just continue around the row working two double crochet into each stitch. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now I've worked two double crochet into each stitch right around the row. So now I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. This stitch here, so I put my hook into that stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. For row 3 I start with one chain and work a single crochet in the same place as the chain. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around and take it through the two loops. Now I work one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the following stitch. And I repeat that right around the row. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the following stitch. Right around the row. One in the next stitch and two single crochet in the following stitch. So I'll continue around this row and I'll be back. So I've worked around row 3. Now I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, I put my hook in to the stitch, bring up a loop and take it through, straight through the loop on my hook. And then I fasten off. I cut my yarn and take the tail through the stitch. And that's the head done. Now the first two rows of the body are work the same as the first two rows of the head. I make a magic loop work two chain and work 15 double crochet into my circle.
then I take hold of the tail and I pull my circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row two, I start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain. And then I work two double crochet into each stitch right around the row. So I'll continue around the row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For row 3 we work 2 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain. And then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that right around the row. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet into the following stitch. Right around to the end of the row. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and then we'll work the tail. The tail's just 15 chain. and fasten off. And that's the body and the tail done. I'll start on the ears now. They're just small hearts turned upside down. So I start with a magic loop and then work two chain into my circle I work one double crochet one half double crochet a half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK for a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook my hook into the circle through the front and I bring up a loop. I put my yarn around the hook and take it through all the loops. And then I work one double crochet I work three chain I work a slip stitch into my circle and then work three chain one double crochet one half double crochet and one double crochet I pull my circle tight 
and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off. And it's a small heart. So we'll work another one for the other ear. We make a magic loop. and work two chain. Then into the circle we work one double crochet one half double crochet one double crochet three chain and then slip stitch into the circle. So we put our hook in through the circle and bring up a loop and take it through the loop on our hook. And then we work three chain, one double crochet, one half double crochet and one double crochet we pull our circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off And that's the second ear done. Now for the snout, I'm using my bright pink. I start with a magic loop. And work one chain. And then into my circle, I work two single crochet. Two double crochet, two single crochet, and Two double crochet. I pull the circle tight. And slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off. And that's the snout. For the eyes, using my white, I make a magic loop. and work one chain and four single crochet into the circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch 
in the top of a first stitch. and fasten off. And I have a tiny circle. Now you could always use little white buttons and stitch them on with black thread if you'd prefer or use the little bobble eyes. So I'll need another eye so I make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into my circle pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the second eye. Now for the legs, I'll crochet them on once I've put the pig together. So now I'll weave in my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you how to put it together. Now here's my pieces. The first things I'll do is embroider the dots on the eyes and two dots on the snout and I'll also curl the tail in. Just stitch it in like that. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now the next things I'll do is attach the snout to the head and the ears just go on like that. I stitch them on to about the beginning of the last row and then I'll attach the eyes just in the middle there. Now the next thing I do is attach the head to the body. The top of the head goes just over the top of the centre circle like that. So I'll stitch the head on and I'll be back and I'll show you how to crochet on the legs. Now for the pig's right leg we find our centre stitch and then go back five stitches and join our wool there. And we work three chain Work one double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the following stitch and fasten off. Then we miss five stitches and join in the following stitch. and work two chain and then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And fasten off. For the trotters, using our black, we join at the top of the chain and work one chain and a single crochet in the same place as the chain.
and then work a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and fasten off. And we work the other side the same. We join in the top of the chain and work one chain, a single crochet into the same stitch as a chain and a single crochet into each of the two remaining stitches. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back to show you the finished pig. And there's the finished pig. I've also made one in a lighter pink and a couple in thinner cotton with different colours. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my new Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.